Hello, people that enjoy watching our shenanigans. Hello, everyone. Nehrui here, and at long last, we're back for another session of Fallout Equestria Distant Lands. Season 2 begins today. Someone ended a tiny bit abruptly. But the, I ran out of things I wanted to do. Would be as that would anyone have been as fun as this campaign. But we're here. Setting they have moved to the frozen north. Some mercenaries hired by the previous group, of which. Very interesting um, characters. Um, and I'll let you all introduce them going from top to bottom in Discord order, so that starts with James. Okay, um, I'm James and I play Silvermane. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you. Yeah. You are done, just say that you are. Yep, I'm done. Alright, I'm Carl, and I am now playing... <clears throat> excuse me, Suture Shop. Next is... I am playing Pepper Puff, the child of Pixar. You're kind of come uh, coming in and out a lot, a, 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 a lot there. Like you're okay. Dumb question. What do I increase or decrease to increase the WhatsApp? Uh, you are going loud, then quiet, then normal, then quiet. Is what's happening. Yeah, you keep like fading off near the end. Which is why I'm asking, what do I need to adjust in my settings in order to fix that? Because I don't know. I have no idea. Hmm. Well, at, at the risk of sounding rude, then I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> To repeat myself, I'm Magical Clever, and I am playing Pepper Puff, the offspring of Pixie Sticks. Yeah, Nay, uh, really here, and I, I'm a t and I'm going to be playing Hash Brown the Third, the uh, the. Uh, let me get the count right. Great, 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 great granddaughter of Masher from the original team. Uh, and I'm playing uh, Hail Mary, a crystal pegasus uh, native to the frozen north. And that brings us to the setting. They are in the frozen north. I think I already said that, but. Um, the basic gist of things. You all have been teleported up here by your employer, which is a natural born alicorn. And it would set you up in here. There's food and supplies, so I'll ask you a good few weeks. Any of the other things would just be like your personal items and your weapons that you have on you. So, all statted out, there's enough food and water for a few weeks of just not scavenging, but 
so that you will have to scavenge for food. Job is mostly to just out at the frozen north, see what all's up here, see what's going on. And you all would only have known each other a few days at most. Oh. That's where everything's the kind of baseline for what's happening right now. And with that, what will you guys be doing? Yeah. And uh, I'm probably not with. Uh, I'm probably not with the group yet, or something. Yes, you are probably not. You're in Unless town. you just happen to be in the cave when we teleported it, and you freaked out. Uh, the the just representation is like one of those shelter things the group made. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say you would be in town. Hmm. Hide from uh, Mary. I must called you train wreck. <laughs> What would the rest of the party be doing now that they have effectively been set up? Everything is relatively chill and calm, and you're getting your bearings pulled up here, for one. Yeah, just in general, what would you be doing? You may talk amongst yourselves, anything you want to do. If you want to weave the map and go exploring, you can do that. Anything. Well, well, I gotta say, they weren't lying. It's corn spit and pig spit up here. Don't tell us. I want to know where you've seen frozen pigs. Also, uh... I wasn't aware that pigs could spit. I'm sure there's a story. And I've seen pigs. Behind how, I'm sure there's a story to be behind how you know how warm or cold pig spit is. Please do not share it. Uh, y'all know that uh, that's just an exp uh, just uh, just one of them expression things, right? Thought expressions were supposed to indicate some manner of truth about the world, or impart some manner of wisdom. Look, after spending a century in the wasteland, there is no such thing as an exaggerated expression. Okay, well, allow me to give you one free piece of advice, though. When the snake falls in love with the spaghetti, it's time to buy yourself a new hat. Let's go this way. Ah, our kids. Right, you guys uh, aren't doing anything. Why should I wait for you? Come on, Jimmy. Let's go. Heading down this path, uh, you would come to what seems to be a... It's not so much a dead end, but... It's got a mostly caved-in area, and it would take someone relatively small to go through there, and it's completely pitch black on the other side as far as you can tell. Completely impassable. Okay, this way. I, I reckon I might be able to fit, uh, fit through there. Completely impassable. <laughs> no chance. What you can all all that uh, take to open up is a little bit a little bit of dynamite in just the right hole. Definitely, absolutely no way we're gay through. No, no way. Let's this way. This way. Yep. Uh huh. You big baby. Were you uh, speaking from experience? If there? you want to commit Sudoku, go do it elsewhere. 
this path is much more open than the one that you just tried to take. Being further into this, but it seems to be an old abandoned gem mine. There is gems still embedded in the rock of the mine, but nothing close to what it likely put out in the past. So, what's the lighting condition in this part of the mine? Uh, decently well. There is some light shining through from above. And as you're walking, it takes a curve towards the left, and you seem to come to a brick wall with light coming through the other end of it, of a tiny little hole that's only very small people could pass through. It's made a giant circle around back towards the main room. Does anybody know Brick Break? P holds out a stick of dynamite. I got, I got your break, Brick Breaker right here. Something that won't cause a cave-in of the cave. Y'all are no fun. Gee, a cave-in of a cave. That sounds really original there. I do not like your tone. Oh, we've got one last place we can check for not killing ourselves that way. Uh, that's gonna be like, this little area up here is a dead. End. Wait, that's not the right thing. This area right up here is a dead. End. That way you don't waste time going Um, heading out this way, you come and hear the wind swirling and the cold growing the further you go as you reach the mouth of this cave in due time. It is snowing outside. Not anything crazy, just a light flurry. It is pretty windy. To the point where it will would cut through most people that weren't in properly winterized clothing. Um, off in the distance, roll perception for that. Last one on real perception to see what I am describing in the distance. Fail by three. Fail by two. Yeah, it looks like it only, only the foxes got through this one. of you that passed, you can see off in the distance the town of some sorts, lights, uh, and mostly, most likely lanterns hanging in the wind and glowing through the snow. Couldn't be more than eight miles. So... There doesn't seem to be any path from this or the cave. Far on decently well ground level and it and the town is just down the hill. Eight miles of course, but there doesn't seem to be a path, so you'd have to trench through snow to get there. Go get my bacon now.
above board, I kind of want to uh, uh, make a proper little map of the uh, bunker our characters are going to be staying in. So roughly eight miles away down the hill and through the snow. There. Going to go. Well, Silverman's gonna have a hard time of it because her because his armor is not winterized. I believe I told everyone that you get the one tries mod on your standard set of armor that you're wearing for the most of the time. At the start, that would have been provided for you. Okay, so I'll, I'll add it to the gear yeah. then. I was going to say, an, un, an unprepared merc is uh, not going to make it far in Fallout. Unprepared is just a fancier, is just a way of saying dead with extra steps. Yeah, I suppose you could put it like that. Theoretically. Yeah, those, those first steps are always the hardest ones to take. No, those are the easiest ones, because, you know, you're not tired. Also, quoting on a robot. But you're, you're nice and warm. <laughs> oh, so that's why it's here. You have a good cooling system. Hey, I may be tiny behind, but I ain't st ain't stupid. I know, uh, no, no, my little, little legs ha can have a hard time keeping up with uh, with y'all. So that's what Jimmy is for. Top of that, um, thing. robots and So, uh, so, so, uh, so y'all re reckon, uh, reckon we uh, we should get moving? Above board, just to be clear, are are we on uh, an are we on a mountain or an incline of some sort or the like? You are at the base of a mountain, uh, mostly on top of hills. too crazy. Um, what I'm, lo I'm looking through the locked safe and I can't find the page for winterized. The mod. I think it's a general armor. I think it's a general armor mod. Yeah, I'm looking in the, in the locked safe and I can't see it. Uh, 
I will look for it. Following down the hill, and I assume it followed by the rest of the group, you all would slowly make your way through the snow and towards town. Oh, no one's objecting. Mm -hmm. Yep, not much other place to go but that. Sorry, I had to step away for a bit. What are we objecting to? Uh, following her pepper puff as she rolled down the hill and heads towards town. Nope, wouldn't object. No objections here. And it's apparently a fait accompli, so no point in objecting. Town is quaint whenever you arrive. Oh, it does seem to be packed. I was gonna say that uh, her that Hail Mary is wandering through. Also, uh, would you be taking the the remains of the road that you find towards town, or just straight up walking beeline towards it? Because beeline towards it, you'd be down here. If you follow the road, you're either here or here. Yeah, it sounds like uh, like Pepper Puff decided to just uh, just go rolling and just see where gravity took her. You only die once. Then yeah, you'd be down near the bottom of the town. I already have your tokens down here. Get back here, uh, you, da uh, you dang dang puffball! When they say, uh, say it's time to roll out, they don't mean it literally. Well, then they shouldn't say it. As you all come barging into town, not necessarily meaning to be a disturbance, uh, you notice folks around here seem to be wearing stable tech uniforms. The ones that you see so far, anyway. This one ahead of you wearing a security guard outfit at that. She cocks an eye at your ragtag motley crew as you go through town. As long as you aren't hurting anything, though, she doesn't seem to mind your presence. For the sake of the party, Hang I'm... Up. Can't hear a thing you said, Trevor. I said, sorry, I'll wait. That's fine. Okay. Heading up along the path that you're going, the some much more wasteland-looking folks talking with someone who looks... Pretty important in a stable uniform. The mayor. That same mayor that uh, Hail Mary is just at least skirting past. The wasteland looking ones, specifically the big one out the front, snarls and metaphorically arcs at her in the form of, like, yelling at her. Yeah, I'll hand up over the supplies you have. We're gonna burn this place alive. Have my word. Yeah, keep talking at the big game. See how far you get. It's in the equivalent of flip-off for a pony. E. 
looks like some sort of gang leader, I think. Okay, as he, he turns around, he's getting his motley crew to go with him as they start heading out of town. A little ways. Not too far, though. What materials do the buildings appear to be made of? They seem to be mostly scrap metal and wood. And they... They must have quite the confidence to think they can burn down an entire city when half of it's made of metal. That would be impressive. Scrap metal is more for the patchwork, as there are holes in the wooden bits of the buildings. The cathedral that you passed is completely wooden. The main, the bases of most of these buildings is indeed wood. Yeah. Well, they'd be dumb. They'd be burning down the supplies they're trying to take. I would not credit them with an overabundance of brains. Well, of course not. Brains don't taste very good. Now, liver, granted, that's an acquired taste. But yeah, not no, from... Not enough bacon and onions in the world to make me love the taste of brown and liver. No way. The mayor in the... I mean, in the, basically the middle of the street eyes and you come in. Sorry about that. Uh, you all new in town? I haven't seen you around here. He's very tired, seeming. Bags under her eyes and completely done with dealing with yep. yeah, right. I must have just exploring. And I'd reckon some, uh, some pony like me would be hot, uh, pretty hard to forget. You do, you lot sure do seem memorable. I should hope I look striking. I certainly put enough effort into how I dress. Um, are there any... Hmm... I'd say disturbances around town you need help with, but considering what we just walked into. Yeah. They've been haggling us for supplies recently. Happens, especially up here. That was haggling. It sure seemed a lot like threatening than anything else. Being Equestria, here it's the average Tuesday. It felt more like a Wednesday. It's nothing a couple of knives couldn't fix. See? Exactly. Who are you? Hail Mary, 38th Ranger Regiment. I'm your guide. See, exactly what she was saying. There's not a whole lot of problems that a nice sharp stick of metal can't solve. Eh, I, I, t I, t I prefer a good old-fashioned stick of dynamite, but eh, I, you, got, you all got yourself a point. Well, mm -hmm. my experience with those is that those cause as many problems as they solve, so... If there's nothing le uh, le uh, le uh, left in, the in its wake, the egg, then there's no problem. Mm. It is when they're sure that... of a house, but... Mm. It's rare that messages get uh, past the mountains. So, being hired uh, from an outside source was different. Well, 
information is really important when you want to make sure you're keeping your own place safe. So, concerning there might be neighbors across the way, kind of important for us to know what's over here. So, you know, explosive ghouls don't wander over the mountain and explode or something. Hmm. Getting over the um, mountain is the hard part. All live near here? Seem like an odd bunch to huddle together just cuz. Well, I made the mistake of saying I was bored in range of where my parents could hear me. So... I was well bo a boy too, and gra and gra uh, Grandpa is a bit of a stick in the mud. I simply made the mistake of promising to keep an eye on the little pup ball here. Not that I need it. Your father thinks differently now. Hush. Can't make me. Oh, so, you're definitely out of. Town, that's for sure. Darling, Are I am parents? out of the world. Well, at least you're not uh, out of your uh, mind. You don't seem like the mercenary type, but you seem like on a mercenary job. That's because we are contractors. Contract us to take care of problems. Or not. Like a specific thing of Tony's haggling the town? That being a beer early? Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Like a group of ponies haggling a town? Would that be something that you cover? Haggling or harassing? Because there is a difference. Harassing by your screen stand. Pepper Puff looks the rest of the party and raises an eyebrow. Sharp knife goes in. Sharp knife goes out. Eh? Can I blow him up? Well, she turns back. Always the wounds. Turns back to the other and shrugs. Sounds like it's something we take care of. Is there any particular fashion in which you would prefer them to be uh... Educated. Haggled. Please say dynamite. Please say dynamite. Oh, oh, sweet Celestia, but please say dynamite. However you see fit. Woo! Dynamite is! Smile a little bit at your enthusiasm. He gets half of whatever supplies you find in their camp once they're dealt with. That is, if they are and by the end of it. Wait, we get half of their supplies? We get half of them. I don't care what you do with the rest of them. We'd need an inventory of what they've stolen from you. They've stolen nothing. They can't get past the guards. We primarily have melee fortress. As opposed so, to combat shotguns we have. Why would we be bringing half to you when we're doing all the work? And they haven't stolen from you, so you haven't lost materials. How is us gaining half of what they have payment when you didn't own the supplies to begin with? And say that was your only payment, did I? 
because they're the ones offering us the work. So, it's standard that we get whatever enemies have when we kill them. That's just standard practice. Maybe if you're a standard adventurer wandering around, but here, this is a job, and our job includes bring, killing the enemy and bringing half their supplies to the town. And a little generosity generates a lot of goodwill, especially when you're it complete strangers scouting in a strange land, and this is the first town you come across. Yep, we'll be picking cats alongside whatever you find. Okay. See, I went this way, right? Uh, 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 wrong button, sorry. Do I see any tracks, maybe? There are some tracks still. Great, uh, okay. No, uh, she'll sit. Well, she, she'll move back towards us a pretty couple of steps and sit down so we can plan what we're going to do. Oh, actually, uh, do you know anything about where they live? Like if they have got a base or if they're in a cave or what? I believe they are up in an old factory. Slash gen mine. The old world. Slash mine. <clears throat> okay, so odds are they might have a few traps set up at the entrances. Uh, does anyone here know how to handle traps? Hmm. Let me just check my sheet. Um, that's traps. Uh, my my skill is a three, so I'm gonna say no. I'm fairly competent with the most types of traps. Yeah, if all those fails, we can throw Shorty and all their dynamite at them. <laughs> I'd, I, I would prefer to have a potentially operational factory not blown up. If all else fails, I said. Okay, because it seems excessive to blow up a factory for, for individuals. So yeah, let that. Let's make that plan uh, E. Or plan F. Or how about, you know, uh, plan H. What does any of those have to do with plan explode? In case it goes in the no, ship. No, no. No, no, it's plan fuck it. Oh, see, for me, that usually involves just charging and screaming at the top of, my top of my lungs and flailing wildly. No, 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 it's playing oh, fire oh, it's in the oh. hole. <laughs> oh, shall you better keep that fire. You were saying? I was only just going to say keep the fire away from me. Okay. Well, it's not getting any warmer out here. Let's uh, go do stuff. Great planning. Come on, Jimmy. Yeah! Use the sound effects. Thermare 
would lead you to your ending. Being inside, and if you all wish to go inside any of the buildings, not being out in the cold, uh, they are. They would let you in. Well, it's not like we've been in the cold that long yet, and we're all equipped with winterized gear, and there, uh, uh, there, uh, there, uh, there's bad guys to blow up. And eight miles is what about an hour, give or, or two hours? Yeah, an hour to two, hour to an hour and a half, I'd say. Dang, we're moving fast. I don't understand how time works. To be fair, moving quickly would be a good way of staying warm, so... Also, trying to fix a map as we're doing this, because the sizes are all black on it. Uh, quick question, GM. How difficult of a trek is it? Uh... Fuck. Say again. Good luck. Whoever wants to. Whoever's lucky, I guess. <laughs> well, you're not one bit mine. <laughs> <laughs> the snow would clear up as you all started walking. And clouds would part a little bit. It is a fairly cloudy day. But they would part a good bit as you started walking, and the weather is clearing up. It wouldn't be too difficult for the trek. It would take two and a half hours if you're going at the same speed that you were whenever you tried to come, whenever you came into town. Rats got us in sunny days. The per perfect way to start an adventure. Uh, that's pretty rare. Oh, I don't know what to say. This weather follows me around. Scatter shot.
you do before leaving town that I should know about? Or, no. Uh, I can't think of anything we would do. Nope. Nope. I mean, I could do something that might have the others upset at me, so I won't. <laughs> well, I mean, I doubt they want me going full bard on the town, you know, when we've just gotten there. Okay, that's, yeah. You know, just guessing. General hunch. Sound about right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if, if Pepper Puff wants, you know, to shot even more upset with them. Didn't quite catch that, sorry. Not now, Pepper. Wait till you take them out to dinner first. Then I turn my food. You approach this place. It's has a pretty crude scrap gate in this broken bit of wall. Facility does seem to have some level of power, but really not a whole lot. As the lights flicker, and at one point just turn off for a good few minutes and then flicker back to life. Should we go in this way or find somewhere else? <clears throat> Want to roll perception to find other places? You are more than welcome to. Why not? I've gotten stupidly lucky so far. Maybe the trend will continue. Uh, passed by two degrees. Nope. That is just a pass. Brown, you would have noticed on the way entering that there is a broken up piece of corner over here that seems to be a frozen over lake just leading into the interior of the, this large complex. Whereas Silvermane would have noticed from the other side of the building a massive gash in the wall that doesn't seem too very heavily armed. Well, shucks, looks like this is the only way in. Actually, uh, on the way in, there's a, a broken piece of wall on the other side. And there, and there, there's not a nice little lake we can walk over. Get that goes right up to uh, to uh, an open wall. Uh, 
I don't know. That sounds complicated. What's so complicated about walking across a lake and through an open wall? I don't know how to walk on water. The lake is frozen. It's ice. Why don't you say walk over the ice? Sounds silly when you say it like that. I said it was a frozen lake. Oh, you di you daggern fox. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Gosh. Taking your way around, Lake is frozen with a greenish tint of glow beneath it. Clearly, the water underneath the ice is radioactive as all heck. Is where I am a window? Where you is, is a boarded up window. And it's higher up on the building than you would be able to reach from the ground. This is roughly a 20 foot tall building. Pepper Puff gets back with the party. She's going to grumble. Who the heck bothers to put a window where you can't look through them? What's the bloody point? Yeah. Yeah. Judging by that glow, I say Grandpa might like this lake. Um. This is a very obscure thing, but did anyone actually figure out the weight of their character? Uh, hmm. uh, well, we don't really have variable weight. Mm. Yeah, like... You, you don't know the normal weight of a pony, so... I mean, the Diary of a Mary Sue has some rough estimates, but the thing is, like, it just presumes that every single race is going to weigh the same at the same size category, which is yeah. kind of silly. Oh no, I did not. Yeah, that's dumb. Yeah, I don't have that. Uh, I would imagine Hail Mary weighs more than the average pony for being a uh, you know crystal pony, but she's going to be hovering. Of, you are made of rocks, basically. Mm. You can fly, so you're yeah. not a big issue when it comes to the weight. Puff is made of fur; they're not that heavy. The robot can fly. Shots, uh, unless you're wearing heavy armor, I'm not gonna have you roll anything for possibly falling through. And silver main, same thing. No, I'm wearing medium. I say, I don't think any of us were really looking at heavy armor as far as affordability. Yeah, I took light armor in the form of the sword mare barding, it's kinky. I took combat armor. Yeah, trooper armor. Unicorn officer barding. Leather armor. Yep. Oh, also rubber boots, but you can see my characters wearing that on their token. Oh, for the sake I of... I was wondering if it's for rubber or not. Anyway. Oh. For the sake of our viewers... I will just mention briefly that I made a point of that because I took Priestess of Me Amor as one of my traits, which means that I am vain. So, of course, I have to pick an outfit that allows me to yeah. show off more. Anyway. You're so vain. <laughs> it, yeah. Well, no, she knows this song's about her, okay? Um,. He Great. is he Great. is very knowledgeable about how he looks to him. Okay, so Great. she knows now how I've to got... strut. Great. Now I've got that song stuck in my head. Thank you. You are welcome. Yeah. Just You're another so moment. I think this tabletop session is about you. Don't be ridiculous. And... As if anyone thinks otherwise. So, how do we wish to approach this? Uh,
in any inside way. This portion of the building, you would be able to see inside this portion. Um, it's rusty, not maintained. They clearly don't focus on this place other than guarding. And you can see someone inside. They are mostly doing the rounds about going from door, lake, door. They have just finished with the lake and started heading towards this door. So that's where they're at currently. Jimmy, grab my gun. It has a gun. I'm, part of me is debating whether or not to uh, give uh, Jimmy a voice to, you know, the whole classic Codsworth thing. You can figure that out in your own time. See if you can get the accent right and everything. Yeah, accents are fun, but can, but can also be quite uh, difficult. Well, most certainly. Yeah, I'm just surprised at how Let's close see. we're getting. Uh, well, Hammer Hammer is flying and about to attack. The so gross. As you're flying, and everyone is currently like in this, and he's walking away, he would see you at the corner of his eye. I rolled a perception check for him. Hmm. And it's pretty. I'll still let you get off your first attack, though, but it is not going to be a sneak attack or anything. Hmm. Wow, he not won that perception. Crap, I don't have to. Each, two, three, is... Well, if it's not going to be a sneak attack, shouldn't we be rolling initiative? That is and then get one attack off first, but yeah. They were already at yeah, the attack. Whenever he sees them. I am going to do the both edition of paper. bit. I can speak. Forgot to update that one. So Hail Mary fires off a pair of uh, crystal shards that grew from her tail and just whipped it at the uh, ganger. For piercing light, that ignores how much DT? Uh, five. Alright. This is just a general body shot, so I don't have to worry about head DT. Yep. Thank you. Oh, I should roll initiative. It's pretty ah. much.
you roll that, I'm going to go grab me a drink. Oh, damn. Yeah, you go before the ganger. Hmm. And of course, I'm taking up the rear dead last. <laughs> Points nine. And I can use eleven more shard attacks. Uh, you all are level one or five. I don't remember why I said the starting level. Uh, level five. 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 Okay. F I V E. Yep, same here, five. Yeah. Both wanted to clarify for this stream and for just myself because I could not remember. I'm running like three games right now. One of which is Austin's Head in the Frozen North. They are level three right now. <laughs> Wait, what? Just adding out, adding detail. It's what you're supposed to uh, it, looks, it looks like he has a lot more HP now. Oh, wait, you, do you see a health bar? Oh, you yep. do. Yeah. No numbers, but we do see the bar. I just put the wrong number in whenever I was re-figuring his health out. Don't worry, it's fine. I had the wrong number in, and it made it a lot less than what it's supposed to be. Like the bar, anyway. You know what I mean? few more attacks, so I'll fire off another volley of shards. Ooh, that just hits. Two. Miss. Alright, so four hits. Make some macros for everybody after this session if they want me to. And four. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'll make some macros for all your attacks after the session if you all want me to. I've been learning how those work. Alright, they this ignores five DT each, so Personally, I like being able to see their health bars like, uh, like we do in the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that. Oh, um, I just didn't know you could. And. Let's see. Uh, for the rest of my AP, I'm going to take out my bow. Turn. I'm just stopping a thing at patient. He will shoot a round off at Hail Mary because they are closest and they just shot at him. He doesn't like that. There's enough IP to do it one more time. But she's going to aim further back towards the rest of you saying that you are back there. So I want to determine just randomly which one he should go. One is at Hail Mary, second one is at Tepo. And second one's and I am uh, second one's Yeah, I am almost dead. Crap, that's some damage. Wait, yeah, check my armor. Wait, do you have flight rank two by any chance? 
Um, yep. Oh, wait, that would only offer 10. Never mind. Or if that. Maybe I'm thinking Flat Ring 3. I don't know. I'm sure you know. I returned to my horrible balance scaling shit. Then you take into account my armor. Uh, Probably because I am bad at balance. Ignore the damage on even. Because. I mean, I mean, I guess that's a good question. How much DT does everyone have? Because I have fourteen. Uh, I have ten. Ignore the damage on even. Yeah, I kind of saw what was happening when you rearranged the uh, Ganger to have. I'm guessing like four or five hundred HP. Oh no, he does not have nearly that. I've got 18 on my body and 8 on my head. 14 body, 6 head. <clears throat> 8 and 4. Well, Hail Mary did like 120 damage with 5 DT piercing, and it looks like he's still at like 80% health. So that's why he's guessing 4 to 500 HP. Now uh, he. At max, this guy is only supposed to have 254. I lowered it a little bit because it, at first I'm like, eh, it's a little bit high. I'm going to lower it. And I'm like, 254? Oh, what level is he? I grab these randomly, all right? I'm bad at, at balance scaling, but it's not 500. I'm going to lower it down because it is high. I mean, at level 5, I only have 156. Yeah, I'm going to lower it down for these guys. Yeah, there are 15 more of these guys. Like, we'll be okay if we keep incurring them one or two at a time, but... Yeah, that's how I was going to do it. One or two at a time. I'm not going to kill anyone off session one. Don't worry. I'm just getting back into the swing of. So bear with me. Oh no! Oh, you! Yeah, I'm not letting the, uh, that go uh, go down. Go, uh, going to uh, go to uh, go take an aim with my ten millimeter repeater. Nice and a uh, nice and braced up against the, uh, uh, against uh, against Jimmy. And I'm assuming this guy's uh, size zero, so that makes him one size bigger than me. Yes. So that's 59 and 17 damage. 9 and 17, and none of those are DT. Nope, this is just a, a, sta a standard 10 millimeter round. Also, if he's one size bigger than you, then you get a, an additional plus five to hit. Yeah. 
know, whenever balance scaling is whack like that, just feel free to call me out because I'm bad at balance scaling sometimes, as you know. I mean, the fact that they only have a 46 to hit seems right. Oh yeah, I edited that down because I'm like, you know, this is a battle rifle. That's a bit much. Yay. Wait, first. Second one's a miss. Wait, 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 wait. What, what is up with those weapons that you're using, though? It, one, two, three. Uh, rate of fire six, or is that first? Let me look no, at three. it. I think it's... It's an assault rifle. A battle rifle. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Rate of fire three. He has perks, evidently, that makes it higher damage. Yeah, you really just gotta stop randomly grabbing stuff. Yes. That's her. I, I have nothing that I can argue that. That's 100% fair. Dang, 90 AP. Okay. Actually, actually it's only 80. I have, I'm not taking the lever action because t- uh, I don't have the 10 AP for that. Oh, okay. Cause oh, the, dang, okay. Yeah, the, I've only got 82, I was like, yeah, someone with more AP than me, good. Oh, dang. No, lever action, it's 30 AP, but it's technically 20 plus 10. 20 for the shot, 10 for the lever action. And then 10 to reload, yeah. So, I had none of so yeah, thir- uh, third shot, uh, shot, I'm just taking a shot, not doing the reload. So second shot misses, but the third sh- uh, third shot hits for sixty-seven and eight. Sixty-seven and eight. All right. Well, the damage is combined. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, yeah. So one second. Hey, is there, what what I would personally suggest um, is just make a couple of different macros, like one for. Like, label one TS for Titan Slayer, and then the other one for, like, small or whatever. You can just click on the size you need, and then just have all the damage be one thing. Ah. That does sound like a good right. idea. He is dead on the third shot. Or on the last shot, whatever, you know. Okay. I am going to balance scale as you get to the enemies because I already balance scale on all of this version of this enemy. So. Yep, that's uh, that's my turn. Y'all right, uh, right up there? Mm. I'm, uh, I'm surviving. Oh, uh, you, what kind of armor do they have? That is a question. Um, for, that's something along, along the lines of what you would, you're supposed to have. Should that's, be a good piece mm, of gear because this is 18 DT, I think. Yeah, 18 DT. Oh, oof. All right, so probably won't use the bow then. No, if you make a call shot to somebody's like head or something, then that's a whole other story. So. Are there doors here? Is this or are these wide open? Or that would be wide open, but there are doors on most of the rooms. Like this one, there's a door there. Okay. This person has to go and open before they can actually come and attack you. Okay, are we still actually doing combat initiative? Yeah, but this guy is going to spend his entire turn like just acknowledging the fact I heard gunshot. There are probably people outside, so he's going to move over here and an action for if someone comes through the door. The entire turn. Yes. They're still in combat. Okay. Well, that depends. So does the door open like that? Or does the door open like that? You don't know. 
Or does the door open like that? I mean, we can see which side of the door has the handle. <laughs> That's both usually a strong a indication. Both, both sides have a handle. No, it's factory style doors. They open to both sides. So they're free swinging. Closed, but they can. They're probably not locked or anything because this is seems like a room that he would likely enter and leave out of. No, oh. just it's just simple metal. You could probably even shoot through it if you wanted to. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. I mean, for one, I don't see him. That's true. And you said these guys have 18 DT? 18, yes. I will work for some of them, because, yeah, balance going. But Yeah. Well, I suit started just going to move up to this nice bit of wall to take cover behind, and hold an action to spray bullets or whatever good they'll do at any uh, ugly fellow that sticks their head out in this interview. Um, I have changed it to 12 and 8. 8 is the only bit, like that's the only thing for like head BT because they do have a helmet. That's not going to be on everybody so don't worry. So, yeah, if they cross that line, she's shooting at them. Alright. Oh. Air Misty? Magical forever. Oh, dang. Sorry, I forgot that I had a second way to mute, and I hit the button when I grab water. Sorry. Um, well, let's see here. Movement is 33 feet, so I can move the equivalent of 65 and 2. So what happens when I run into the doors? Doors burst open. And I get shot in the face? Yeah, I think you'd hit him in the face, but I want to know what I should I have. No, to I asked. I asked if I get shot in the face. Oh yeah, you get shot in the face. Okay, I'm literally one square away, so I have to spend another 50 AP for movement. Help if I put. Dodge! Dodge Charter! Okay. What is my weap- there's my weapon. Okay. Stab you in the face! Usually stab in the face? That's- that's me. Yeah, well he shot at me. And I'll do it again. Uh, 52 and 52. Uh, that's and you know, this isn't complete without a third, you know? But, you know, that third movie, you've got to split it up into two parts in order to milk it for all the money it's worth. So, a wild swing for five at minus five. Oh, dang, that missed. Okay. Before. Uh, that is all of my AP. Plus, realistically speaking, I'd want to be more like over here. But.
opposite of the main? Um, with I'm assuming these doors are still open, right? And these doors would be wide open now. All right, so swinging, so you would be able to, yeah, see him. So I can see him. Yeah. All these right. doors would be swinging back and forth. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm going to start plugging with my surface rifles. Medium range, pew pew pew. Yep. And because my I'm firing two of them that are linked, I can fire both for the cost of one. Yep, twenty five and twenty seven, that's that's my first attack. You will need to change your macro later then, because you're rolling two attacks for a single damage instead of I should kill him. Yeah, because I also have um, Armed and Dangerous, which um, gives me a, a extra d10 of damage for uh, GLD half attacks. Uh, he's dead. Uh, That's not what I meant. Now I'm going to fire again. That's when he... He's dead. Oh, he's dead? Ah. Okay. He's dead, Jim. Ah, then I'm going to hold another fire action for anything coming from here or here. Alright. And that's my turn. Figure out this person's turn. But... Yeah, you're lost. Okay. It's Hail Mary's turn, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess so. Yep. Is last, and then it starts back up. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, is uh, the door open here? The door would be open, yes. All right, uh, I will... Uh, I'm moving one turn. Do light rank. Huh. All right, damn, uh, 88 yards. <laughs> So, you'll fly in here and take a look around. Oh, these are the tokens that we should be.
Okay, I am going to fire. This I'll fire at the ganger uh, twice with my bow. Miss hit and then shoot off one shard. And that's another miss. Oh, damn. Okay, bow damage is 62, but DT is applied twice. And I'll use my last AP to fly back into this room. Incoming. It would be hash browns right now. I still have yet to figure. Out, I still have yet to figure out how to do that. Uh, 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 do that whole uh, draw the line and have your character follow it thing. Uh, hold space while you, uh, while you have the token while you're holding the token, and you're like hovering it around. Just press. Uh, oh wait. You right click at each space. You're gonna oh, do it. Oh right. Yeah. Uh, right yeah. click. Yeah, you're right there. there. So Hail Mary can go and flight speed is just great. Okay, so click I'm going to post like the uh space. the macro. So dude here, Mr. Handy. I post it for and your DMs. Oh. I was putting in that was putting in general. Yeah, about this far in a single move. So probably something we'll need to figure uh, figure out. Does uh, 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 can uh, J uh, Jimmy uh, uh, just Jimmy attack on his own or what? Yes, we can attack on his own. Us using my yeah, AP, using my AP or his AP. I'll say his for now. I may change that later. I don't know. Okay, so you say hold space, then r click, then right click, right? No, that didn't work. That does not seem to be working. So that trick, you sure it's uh, hold space while you're cl while you're doing the left click and right click? Uh, no, everyone said right click. That was a derp on my part. Okay, because I left click to bring up the arrow. I right click. I right click, right click again, release, and nothing happens. No, no, don't use, you're using the ruler. You will pick up your token like you're about to move it. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. No matter how many times this is explained to me, I will always forget it because I have terrible memory. So. Yeah, same. So, uh, arrow, right click. 
Yeah, just hold your token like you're about like you're dragging and moving it. Yeah. And uh, while you're you know have it around, just uh, also right click it. Can figure this out later. Yeah, probably have to do that. So that's three movement actions. You have to make sure you're moving it and holding it around like a. Once you drag it, and it looks like your token where it's standing before is transparent. Yeah. And you're just floating your uh, token around and stuff. Uh, while you're holding that, and don't let go of it, just uh, right-click it. And then it'll... Uh... There you go. Okay, it might take a few tries to get that down. But... No, we did it. Yay. Right. Gonna have to fi uh, fi uh, figure, uh, figure out... I mean, uh, sorry for... First session, still di uh, still dialing things in. Gonna have to get, uh, get myself accustomed to hash... Uh, to uh, Jim uh, Jimmy's thing since... Technically, he's the one moving, so I have to. Let's see. Because yeah, I don't don't uh, don't know the Mister Handy's uh, movement speed, so I'm just gonna use mine for now. Uh, the Mister Handy's the yards. How many yards? It kind of cut out. Eight yards. Eight yards? Well, that's the same. Uh, that's the same as mine, apparently. So makes Me. no makes no difference. So yeah, three move uh, moving actions. So that leaves me. Ten to uh, uh, and ten AP to uh, to chamber a new round. Acros, put themselves in. Okay. All right. I tried to like post all the like things for the Mister Handy, but the macros put themselves in and did themselves. So I'll um, work them in the macros after the session. But with that, I'll uh, I'll say uh, uh, say uh, uh, save a uh, well uh, uh, save uh, a shot uh, uh, for anyone who comes down the hallway. And that's my turn. This ganger, seeing how they can't get there. Um, it is his speed. Yards, same as everyone else. Go. Right click. Eight yards is how many feet? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Eh, nice and in sync on that one. Basically, one yard is three feet. Yards is twenty-four. Two move actions. Be eight. He comes to there. Okay. Just did he actually I move along the thing, arrow, or did it just go up there? I don't understand how that works, but I now can at least measure the distance, even if I'm doing the travel thingy wrong. That triggers my held action. Yes, it does. Uh, I go ahead and roll it. So. Okay. 
That's six of crit. So that's times two damage, so that's 36. And 22. Alright. Having just been shot at, he will direct his attention toward you. Yeah, would hear uh, uh, would he, uh, would hearing uh, hearing the attack that just went off be enough for uh, for me to trigger my action and just shoot on the on this side of the wall since I'm pretty much pressed right up against the wall. Yes, but I'm gonna let him get his shot off first. That is not quite your action that you specified, but it's close enough that I'll allow it. But, uh, but, uh, but, a, but a little time to make the adjustment. Yeah. Enough time for him to get an, an attack off. On um, Silvermane, because they're the one that shot at him. Real 20 is going to be a jerk and not actually load it for like 30 years. Thirty-two is. Ignore the damage on even because the weapons okay. are a bit powerful. Okay, so thirty-two. That's torso, and it's thirty-nine. So twenty-eight. And get their health auction off on. Ah. Ah, gosh dang it! Well, spot on hit. And that is uh, uh, that is a new uh, a new macro that takes it uh, and combines the Titan Slayer into it. Oh, uh, did I take uh, any damage? Uh, spaced out a bit. No. Mm. Shot at. Rain, why are you being dumb right now? Never mind. There we go. Yeah, I imagine it's such a random thing. You're a raider in the wasteland, someone just flies in and hits you with a bow and arrow and then <laughs> runs away. It's like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Who uses bones? Huh? <laughs> hey. It's not like there are a bunch of factories running. That's fair. Yeah. Bone is such a weird skill, and it's not really given the light to shine. Mm. I'm gonna see. I I want to see how far you can like push the throne skill. E. Also, just I've just been a little distracted uh, uh, working on uh, this. 
เอาOkay. Um, three. You can make one more of a action. That person's entire time earn as they go to warn people that hey, there's shooting and crazy things happening. The super shot's turn now. Okay, question Is Hail Mary flying? Flying. Okay, I doubt I can jump that high to slap a bandage on them or something. Unless, you know, they're Mario on the town. Yeah, I'll be alright. Uh, okay, to Silvermane. Want healing now, or is he going to wait for his turn? Good. Okay then. To everyone dying. Oh, I'm joking. Oh, I probably should ask the GM. Uh, is it okay if I make a uh, a uh, proper bunker map for us? Yeah, that's one hundred percent fine. Thanks yeah, I put three posts yeah. at heart, right? Yeah, and it's something I've been working on 
on and off since uh, the start of the session. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, just make sure to have storage, bed, table. Yeah, you seem to have everything covered. I'm currently making the storage. Uh, there's a place um, just at the shelves and just gonna put some random boxes in. Anything you can feasibly think that would have been put there during pre-war time and still function today, despite uh, freezing temperatures half the time, you're welcome to put. Mm. After you've got yeah. Zilla, put some palm trees in there. Uh, yeah. Quartz statues from the time in the Crystal Empire Castle. Yeah. All right, and the all these attack rolls uh, have a plus fifteen because point blank, I need to. Update the macro to include allowing me to have bonuses. Thirteen damage. Thirteen to hit. It's eighty to hit because point blank. Okay. Which doesn't seem to be a problem because yeah. Yeah, it doesn't work anything. Which means. 14, 11, 12, 17. And 15, 15, 18. Wait, I was looking at the 65. Yeah. 15. 15. And 17, 18. Granted, that's before their DT. We're in out, out right now. Still alive. Not looking too hot, but they're still alive. Anything else this turn for you? Uh, one. Let me make sure I can actually make that distance. I should be able to. Yes. One last move action to make it a little harder for them to shoot back. And that's my turn. Okay. I have been trapped in a room. I have no idea what's going on. Let us go and allow the others to bask in my glory. And I. Where is everyone? This is heresy. Shouldn't, uh, shouldn't more of the assholes. Ah, uh, that's not usually a very vulnerable target. It is when you, when you st uh, stick a, uh, like a bit of dynamite up there. Well, you haven't been using that, so you don't get to use that excuse. Y'all told me not to use it. And yet you're talking about using it. Oh, okay. That crit? I mean, yes, that's why it's green. Bravo. He, I am. Um, he's dead. I don't have to do the math for that. He's dead. That's um, that's one hundred and four because it's twelve VT and he had thirty eight health. He's dead. And I'll move there, and I shall prepare. My other 8P in order to parry against the enemy. Damn. 
Anime? What? Anime? Said anime. Or at least that's what it sounded like. It said Perry. I, it is what I heard. Making joke. Ignore me. Doesn't look like there's anything coming so far. Not that I can see. Yes. Um, and I can only move 27 feet. I'm going to spend four movement turns, four movement actions to move to there, and that's my turn. Back at the top of the turn order, let's carry a little Mary. Mary, let's pop it a bit. And do okay. what's up? Oh, uh, where are these orange little dashes? Uh, what on the hallway? Yeah, that's that. I put those there as if they cross that line, Sushi will shoot them earlier. Hmm. I, I just did, did. I just did little dashes so they wouldn't think, oh, there's a door. No. Uh, qualifies as medium range. Yeah, screw it. We'll fly. And here. And. Uh, two bow and arrow shots at the uh, ganger gunner down the hall. Oh, uh, ability. Oh, that is a crit success on perception. And see a tripwire. Here, if I can find the art tool. That's a really weird looking tripwire. And tripwire here. That's a good thing I can fly. Look at that curvy tripwire. Yeah. Uh, one sec. Alright, uh, I'll do my two shots of damage. And... I cannot hit with the shards at this range. Instead, I will uh, uh, activate a Pegasus trick and uh, let's see. Uh, 
uh, so let's see how long they last. And it turns equal to a flight rank, so two turns. Right, so I'll fly by and stay uh, above the uh, halt where the uh, tripwires are. And just uh, leave a contrail across here. Then use my next movement action and leave a contrail across here before taking back cover. And uh, uh, tell the uh, and call out to the rest of the party uh, uh, below the uh, you know you know, icy contrail or trip wires, and I will just mark them. Sorry, just make sure you said avoid them. Uh, she uh, she didn't say specifically to avoid, but just uh, you know their trip wires they exist. Yeah, she is just showing you where they are. Uh, with her contract. Okay. Alright. Is that your entire turn? Yep. Yeah, cause uh, uh cause even riding uh, my uh, riding my uh, riding my uh, tr uh, tr uh trusty uh, 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 uh trusty steed steed uh, words he, he's still not much faster than I am but he can travel a lot easier so I'm gonna be doing a lot of moving but not a lot of acting this round can also still activate the trip wire. He hovers close enough to the ground for a tag to laugh. This so one would, would brush against it. So, to get uh, to over there to sp there to put myself in a spot uh, uh, to uh, get a sneak attack on anyone that com uh, comes down the hall or through the door. That's going to be five movement actions. Green squares or doorways. Green squares or doorways that have doors in them. Okay. In yeah. this building, you can see that there is a combat shotgun connected to the tripwire right here. I mean, towards the wire if you were to come from this direction. Hmm. Shotgun over here! And she'll also instru uh, instruct Jimmy to shoot uh, uh, shoot any bad guy that cro uh, crosses their path. Because, because uh, out of AP. What a really dumb question. So, whose AP is being used when you move? Yours or it's? You're writing it. Oh wait, you're right. Sorry, I'm not. Uh, I'm still getting used to uh, uh, to having. A, uh, <laughs> it's okay. I'm, like I just, I've I'm been so blanking out, and I heard you say, "I'm like, wait a second." I'm right on the sorry. I'm, so. I'm, I'm, I'm still. <laughs> I'm still. <laughs> I wasn't accusing you of anything. I was just like, oh well, no, I haven't so been I... paying attention. I'm a horrible person. I should no. ask. No, <laughs> I. I'm still getting used to this. So that technically means I still have all of my AP. All right. So, is it that's for like action? That's for actions that aren't movement. Because I don't think, unless you hop off of it and start walking around the ground, then you can't use that AP for movement. Because you're using your robot for movement. So basically, robots, even though he has weapon options, he's still mostly just a steed. Okay. So in that case. Can I, while in the process of moving, while I'm here, throw a stick of di uh, dynamite out uh, out the, out the door, 
over the trip wire. Yes. What's the radius of dynamite? Ten, uh, ten yards. Are you aiming for? Thing where you're aiming. It's where to land. Oh, you're oh you're throwing outside. I thought you were gonna throw it over this tripwire, and I'm like, really? <laughs> there, throwing outside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right about here, cause te cause my throwing distance is about forty eight feet. Okay, so right here. Uh, this isn't a real thing. This is just like a stand-in thingy. Pretty. Yeah. I'm there. Five strength would you, would get you there, yeah. But uh, the radius is how many feet? If I'm not mistaken, if I recall correctly, it's ten. It's ten. It was said it's it was ten. Ten. I'm looking right at it. Yeah. Well, if you threw it there, it's not gonna hit anything. Sure it is. It'll just be in the second damage increment. It'll do seventy-five percent damage. Because that's the thing about explosions: it does full damage the first range, then seventy-five, then fifty, and then twenty-five. Hmm. Love you. I thought the full radius was only 10. That's ex that's not explosives. 10 is the radius for full damage. The next 10 after that, 75%. It does less damage as you go farther away. Ah, I see. Yeah. Then... So... Then how about to this spot, then? Will that, uh, that get, uh, get the guy in the full radius? Yes. All right. Around here would get him in the full radius. Yeah. I mean, even from where she threw it, even from here, yes, that would still be within ten yard, ten feet. So yeah, that would still hit. Okay. And it, it could also potentially set off this trip mine here as well. Yeah, it's definitely gonna set off the trip mine. And that's. Uh... 30 increment, and then this is the 25% damage increment, I think. It wouldn't affect you because you're inside the building, and it would be like bouncing off the wall. This person will be hit with 25% damage, and both of them with full. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so, time to roll. And how does that deal with DT? Does it just say no DT? Since it's like opinion on DT, does it miss full DT or anything? Because I know it's going to be weird like that. Let's, let me see. Let me double check. I'm, I'm pretty sure explosives. I have to deal with your full DT unless, you know, this specific explosive says otherwise. Right. Yeah, I think that's uh, basically how it works. In that case, it's him. And they have the same stats, alright. In that case, uh. And this guy gets 25% of 61. 61 divided by 4. That would be 6. So his DT covers him, I think. And oh no, his DT does not cover him. He's, he takes 3 damage. Haha. <laughs> 
And other than that, saving a shot, uh, 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 reserving a shot with my rifle for anyone that crosses in fr uh, front of my sight line. Anyone hostile, that is. It probably goes off and it just activates another shotgun that's in this room. Poking out a hole. And it doesn't hit anything, but the tripwire is gone now. Great traps. Bravo. <laughs> uh, see, we're dealing with criminal already... masterminds here. Yeah. The ganger gunner, I removed them because I didn't know you saw a day up. And now they have warned these people up here. I'll be probably what I'm I'll remove this cursory token here because you were using that to gauge where she was throwing the explosives. Yeah, I will move that. Need I need to get something to use for a TNT token. Good Minecraft TNT. I'm rolling really good initiative for these people. Please. Well, you know, they like to rush their death head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to no! the forehead. No! <laughs> You're not gonna that. die. What are you screaming for? That commercial was so damn annoying, and that, and from what I heard, the bride doesn't do shit. I don't know what we're referencing, but all right. One of the most annoying product placement ads for uh, for saying that they do not explain Excuse anything. Excuse me. Excuse me. I believe you mean most successful commercial ad to ever play. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> You only had to hear that once or twice to have that drilled into your brain for the rest of life. I'd say that was a very effective commercial. <laughs> F-R-E-E, that spells free, creditreport.com. No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. I think we killed her. Loot the body. <laughs> right. No healing right. for you then. <laughs> right. It's okay. I'll huh. heal myself. That and you can't loot her body. I have dibs. All right. No, you didn't say it. Anyway, moving forward. Because people will not be in the turn. Sure. Uh, super shot is next. Okay, so we got a trip wire over there that's... Has that been disabled? It has not been disabled, no. Okay. There is a shotgun connected to it. We'll shoot you if you're in this area. You're good. I'm not the one you want to be disabling these things. I don't know how you disable it. If you jump on it, that's technically disabling it. Uh have those ganger tokens because I figured, hey, ganger's the standard ganger. They should be the easiest one. No, ganger fiend and ganger outlaw are the easy ones. They're what cut, and they will make up the rest of the when you're fighting anyway, so. Except for, like, the boss of the place, but that's the boss of this place, so. Uh, uh, what exits should there be to the bunker? Uh, uh, left, right, or down, or just one or multiple exits. 
Which one? Uh, uh, which direction? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, three move actions. Holding a burst. Oh, submachine gun fire. And turn. Bill 20 just being weird and not showing your roll yet. What roll? You said you were doing a machine gun roll. Holding. Gun. Oh, holding. Okay, never mind. They're not exactly in range, and it's a pea shooter. I want them close. Person has ten yard. Their revolver does more damage than their rifle. That's kind of sad. Well, it depends what's the rifle. Right. So I've looked in the book, there are some shitty ass rifles. Runs in here, two movement actions, three AP. Not much left. Yep, and running, uh, running in there. Get, uh, get, uh, get, uh, guess what he did? Triggered your action. You know what else they did? Your action. Yes. Just waiting for the cascade of dice. Yeah. The honor. <laughs> first with a crit. First and it's crit. even thirty. Yeah, so the first one's just so I think it's both of them are crit? Yep. Just both of those are crits. Which means it's thirty, 30 and, and thirty six. Here for that. Okay. He's dead. Please. Only has three DT. That's a lot of damage. Has forty seven health left. <laughs> Question is, did he die before he got into the room or after? Uh, well... Wait, why did you attack so many times? It's a rate of fire weapon. Oh, that was your turn, not a hell... Okay. Well, it I thought that was a re... Wait, was reaction? Was reaction, the reaction yeah. was shoot, shoot hostile when they get closer. Mm -hmm. There are rate of five weapons. It was originally rate of four. It was now it has now been modded to be rate of five. Heck, okay. Damn, okay. What on earth? He died upon being shot when he entered the room. Yeah, it's all on the sheet. I'm just seeing that their buddy got annihilated. So he's running, 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 falls down dead and slides into the room. Hey. 
You got good distance, but your form oh, could use a lot of work. Yes. Yeah. This form could be <laughs> Their form needed much practice. Practice they will never get now. Ah. This person taking when this person takes drugs, they do more damage. What? Raiders taking drugs? Whoa! That's crazy! <laughs> it's scandalous is what it is. I know, I would never think of Raiders taking drugs. You know, that's a, a completely new idea. My mind is blown. Fox falling, you all die. Yeah, I'm joking. <laughs> I say, actually, that's probably how you're supposed to use higher level raiders is you don't necessarily have to change their level or or skills you just start giving them more and more drugs that they've already used before combat starts i'm gonna say that he hasn't taken any drugs that's really wrong uh 30 ap for that um how much ap not enough for a bunch of attacks Gonna spray into the room. Whites. Oh, he isn't. He can't hit any from where he is. Okay. He can make one movement action. And still have the for that. Uh, 12, nine yards. Nine yards is 27 feet, I think. Oh my god. Uh, that's the best that they're gonna do. You're in cover technically, you're in cover technically, you're in cover technically, you are definitely in cover. Another movement act, another two movement actions. That way they can actually at least make one attack. As you know, just one of them action should be fine enough and then they can make one attack. So, okay. so her ball is going to be shot. Yeah, because I can't parry a bullet. I mean, I can try, but I'd probably fail pretty hard. So are they shooting These you? guys are a little, only a little bit above you. You said, who, what? Who are they attacking? Oh, you, they're attacking you, the purple. Okay. Uh, that's what I thought. Oh, they really are yeah. dangerous. They're attacking one that is still technically behind cover, not the one who they flank. Look, now, they're kind of blind. Are... Yeah, they're kind of dumb and they're on drugs, like we talked about. Okay, I'm done. I'm just saying, this is... This is definitely proving it. It has not brain cells. I mean, let's be honest. When have we ever heard? When ha have we ever seen an intelligent raider? What was the name of that? With that uh, oh, one. Seen... What was the name of that seen... one guy from uh, Nuka World? Porter. Which one guy? He doesn't count because he was dumb because he, he tried to make you become the leader. Everyone knows that the canonical fault for protagonist just murders everybody. And that's why they make for a good raider candidate. They, mur they murdered the raiders too. Um, did you get it actually? Uh, I, don't, I just put an X on it for no reason. Oh, let's actually do that first. 
So, 28, 26, and... Remind me, when does this take place? This would be roughly 30 years after World Cup. I think that gives enough time for you all to have them, like, set up the town and everything, get notoriety, and for, uh, for Puff to be the agent there. And no, last intelligent radio group I ran into was 75 years ago? Oh, <laughs> can I stab him in the face now or what? I'm figuring out whether he's alive, but probably. What do you mean? He hasn't taken... Damage? I was against you. I'm really out of it right now. Evidently. I'm just all over the place. But yeah, you can stab him in the face. Easy. Not the face! Yes, the face. No, that's what she cried when she was shot. Yes, the face. Burn the face. No, he shall die for, for hitting the, the face. That's a crit. That's 98. I mean, yeah, on average, one-fifth of my attacks should be crits. Well, that's 98 damage right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's still alive. I thought that was 180 or something, because I saw the 90, and I'm like, oh. That that's a crit. Yep. That's another crit, so that's ninety-six. Ninety-six and was there one? Ninety ninety-eight was the first, ninety-six was the second. Ninety-eight, ninety-six, okay. Oh uh, yeah, he's dead. Would I have to do no, anything? I mean, I mean. He was barely alive after the first one. And then you just kind of caved his face in. Yeah, well, he shot me in the face. What? Well, it's an improvement. Do, do I need... <laughs> do I need to... Do you, do you need the choke a bitch? Oh, no, let me check something here real quick. You're lucky that me being vain, it doesn't say anything about if anyone insults your looks. Hey, so so I, don't, I don't have to go no blood rings right now. Um, is there anything special I need to do to, like, jump over the tripwire or whatever? Uh, agility roll, that's all. Oh, yeah, sure. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Apparently nothing. Ugh, all that build up for nothing. Okay, so she's yeah, more so like... Tuesday to me. And then she spends the rest of her AP to prepare to parry attacks against her. This is just a preemptive roll for uh, the gang leaders next turn. As they're going to the bank. Let's 
expensive. I mean, the main is like silver and it's amazing. Right, my turn then, so. Right. Fifteen. Thirty. Yeah. I will move to there. And hold a shoot action for anything coming in this direction. Alright. King Lear spends a move action to come over to this wall. And you hear a static crackle over speakers around the place. In form of alarm system as he speaks out. Have intruders in the compound on the uh, let's see, the southwest side. Armed and dangerous and have been taking our men. Get it down there and bring me their heads. Been to that effect. You hear that, guys? There are intruders in the factory, and we need to bring. Him their heads. I, th I think he's talking about us, Puffball. There is no intelligence here. No, no, I think he has a point. There might be some other group in this facility. Pepper's point was that they're the intruders because the town wants them gone, so we need to bring. The leader, the heads of... We're, shit, we're shitting you. We are taking the piss. <gasps> that's something pretty worthless to take, but... That's fine. More wealth for me. You're lost. You'd be surprised at how a pee bell can keep you warm. Going down the turn corridor. Well, now it's pot, uh, and now it's it's a right party. We are at top of the turn over with the ganger dude. Not top of the turn, you know what I mean. Save for that. Uh, he is going to. Was one move action. Just yards. Yards.
whatever. Oh. Inevitably come through this door. And you all just pass out the door and you completely ignore him and he's just sitting there forever. All by myself. All right. Send me order. Well, Check. here's a quick question. It's currently 10 o'clock, and the turn order is now rather expanded. Yeah. If you all want to end here for the night, uh, we can't. This is prob probably a, de a, a decent enough spot. At uh, uh, top of the tur uh, turn order, got uh, managed to uh, uh, managed to get, uh, make some good progress. Got I uh, uh, got to throw a stick of dynamite. Yeah, it seems like a good place. But again, I'm, you know, just half here, half uh, working. Yeah. But, yeah. I think that that's a good enough place to end. We'll hand out XP. A bit along with no loot yet, because you all haven't had the chance to loot them. I will hand out XP here in a bit. And see you all on Monday. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed. There was a little bit of jank when the fir when combat first started, but it got sorted out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yep. But and I'll show everyone else where I'm currently at uh, for the bunker. Have to add some more details. Uh, Oh. Screen and post in the art. Well, with that, uh, with that, the uh, this uh, first se uh, session of the new season of Distant Lands has come to a close. To everyone who came by to watch, I hope you all had a good time. And yeah, feels like w we're finally ba uh, back in the saddle. Cause I, I for one, ha had a had a lot of fun, uh, fun this session. What about, the, what about the rest of you? Yeah, you know, it was mostly introductory stuff. We'll get into, uh, you know, introductory getting back in the swing of combat. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I can't wait for uh, some role play and, you know, some world building uh, next time where we can talk about the mm -hmm. setting and our characters. Yep. Yeah. And it's one of those semi sorry for having taken point so much in town. It just felt like. People weren't speaking much. It was like, okay, let's just say something. <laughs> let's. <laughs> yeah, get the ball rolling, both literally and figuratively, as I roll down the hill. Yeah, <laughs> not complaining. Yeah. Also, uh, you know, by next session we'll have a swinky new uh, uh, home base. <laughs> Also, what I've noticed in, on this map here is that there's a surprising lack of cover apart from the walls. Like there's no tables, there's no boxes. Oh. I mean, there might be stuff, it's just hard to tell this map is... Well, here's the thing. You're Keep in mind, it's a factory. Oh, uh, mostly in the hallways, and this factory, from what you can tell, is mostly stripped clean of the factory... Working materials makes room for just living. The majority of like furniture, if you would call it that, is just bedrolls that you can see dotted about. These people are struggling. Yeah, they're about to be struggling a lot worse. Yeah, that's only if, only till they stop twitching. Also, I haven't been using my um, service rifles to the best of their abilities because they have, uh, let's see, they have the upgraded springs, which means for 30 AP, I can, I can do burst three for them. Uh, 
Each one of them has an upgraded spring, so essentially I can do burst 3 for 30 AP. Both of them. One thing I really enjoy so far is that your characters bounce off of each other very well. To be fair, I think half of us we're just used to snarking at each other at this point, and at the but now it's just different flavors of snark. <laughs> um, Pepsi, if you could throw me that um, macro that you use for your rifle rate of fire three, because I, I I could use that for when I actually do. Just use send me the three. stats of your gun, the crit success and crit fail chance. And this number for the of the give me this number for the skill that it's using. With that information alone, I can make a macro for you. All right. Um, that's it's. Uh, that makes four plus. I'm just sending in DMs because it's going to be a lot for me to remember. And I'm going to make one for everybody if they send me uh, numbers. Actually, because I've been working on macros a lot. Here's what I can do. I can probably just grab my locked safe to take a photograph of the actual thing and just send it to you. Yep. Yeah, that works too. Of the weapon. And with, with all that, I'm going to put uh, put the uh, the stream to uh, to an end. Oh, and the and the skills battle saddles because you know that's what that's what the link to. Until next time. Uh, take care, everyone. Saddles, everyone. Until next time. Take care. Bye-bye.